Everybody. My name is Lenore von Stein, and this is yet another episode of The Facts. And I'm here tonight with Beth Griffith, Rachel Evans, Andrew Bolotowski, and Bern Nix. And um, this episode is, uh, I, uh, this episode and perhaps a couple more following, uh, I'm going to try to construct a realistic uh, portrait of a, a, a male human being. Like uh, like I was making it for a play or you know a character in a novel, and uh, before I was a musician, I, I I wrote stories and plays, and I felt that I couldn't write a good male character because uh, I, I couldn't walk in those shoes, and uh, th that's where I was at, and um, um, and because and and maybe you know in analyzing taking apart this this problem. Uh, part of it may be because men seem like, you know, to be fighting this war between the sexes uh, with, on, uh, with an extra amounts of insight, actually, you know, on top of the mountain. You know, like they're looking at you, woman, but you're not looking at him because he's just the man. You know, he's the man. And this episode uh, is, is, is an effort to attempt to, you know, that's why I said solve the problem. So the male character, here's, a, I've got some outlines of him. So the male character I'm going to construct is I'm going to make him very tall so that he, he rarely blends in. And, and he's worried about his, maybe over six foot five. So he's worried about his height because of his, you know, height. He's worried about his heart, his heart because of his height. <laughs>
man I'm creating, he's, he's not a fighter, uh, but he has to fend off challenges because of his size. And um, my great-grandfather was a carnival boxer, and he traveled from town to town and, uh, with the carnivals, and the locals would, would pull their money and get their you know, I guess they're one of their strongest people and try to take him on. That was his job. And I had a, used to have a poster. Was, his name was Patty White. It was $50 to anyone who could knock out Patty White. And uh, he became an alcoholic, and he died at 36. His death certificate said died of exhaustion, which is what they called cirrhosis in those days. Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> Sherry. 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 Character, this male character in, that I'm developing, uh, this you know very tall male character. I'm going to make him from an upper middle class family. Uh, his mother, well, uh, I've given his mother a problem with alcohol and a father that's not sufficiently protective. Uh, he's particularly intelligent. He goes to private schools when he was a kid, and he wants to control his emotional reactions. And this contributes to his lechery. Uh, he's an artist but his coldness makes it hard for him to develop uh, new insights or empathy. So it's not easy for him to create original work. <laughs>
always had to defend the real story of being poor or realer story of being poor, you know. People don't want to hear that. And, and, and one day it just shot out of me not too long ago and some section of it, and, 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 and I'm scared now because, you know, they, people can get you back for that. And um, it's so painful. It makes me double up the fear. <laughs> character um, I don't think if less times he doesn't think that expression makes him stronger you know to, to him it's like his immune system turning on him you know and and although he must get a relief out of it uh, women you know 50% of the population uh, are like a prototypes for expression in the human race you know conservatives ground zero for this war on women uh, are worried about people expressing mm -hmm. themselves, thinking, oh. negotiating a better deal. Um, the oh. feminization of society. Oh.
this guy, I'm going to make, he's, multi, he's multi-talented, and people expect a lot out of him. They expect a great novel out of him. But he ends up working in visual art, and his visual tastes are uh, ruffled, I wrote this down, ruffled, modern, and conventional. <laughs> <laughs> Sex is actually more than an exercise in dominance. And many of us have had profound sexual experiences that aren't emotionally skinny or one-sided or humiliating or by road. We've all probably all had those too. Whatever, I mean, we're not crocodiles. <laughs> Life after Earth. Life after Earth. 